Now, the three government leaders, as well as the Integration and Housing Ministers, are meeting this evening to discuss the refugee accommodation crisis. Dozens of people who arrived here from Ukraine over the weekend were forced to sleep rough due to the lack of accommodation. Groups working with refugees say the system is too slow. 44 people who fled the war in Ukraine and arrived in Ireland over the weekend were left without any state accommodation. Some of those sleeping at the airport and others, not realising that the airport was an option, ended up sleeping on the streets. The situation expected to get worse before it gets better. It's a difficult, uh, difficult situation really for those people because they arrive in a new country with no connections, not, they don't know anybody and they're just kind of trying to, by you know, trial and error method, trying to find a place that would help them uh, with everything, with food, with accommodation, with their immigration status. The government says more accommodation needs to be found. About 55,000 Ukrainians have landed here since the war began. The City West transition hub is currently full. Those working with Ukrainian families say a renewed appeal for pledges of accommodation is not what's needed at the moment. There was approximately 25,000 pledges of accommodation when the war broke out, but thousands have yet to move to the next step, where they are matched with families who are desperately in need. The system that's currently in place is being described as too slow, helping Irish hosts saying it's just not acceptable that there continues to be empty premises in the country during this ongoing crisis. We've had lots of people offer for the interim two-week solutions until they go somewhere else, but this is the thing, Ashling. where do they go afterwards? Where is the plan? This is what we all are looking for from government. What is the plan to release the 62,000 vacant properties around the country? There's no excuse anymore. A temporary overnight unit is to be opened at Dublin Airport, which will be able to accommodate up to 200 people who are arriving here. Ashling Nikoshtala, Virgin Media News. Right, let's go now to our news correspondent, Richard Chambers, who's at Leinster House for us this evening. So, Richard, that meeting's still ongoing this evening, but what options does the government have here? Well, it's really a case of all hands on deck, Colette. Uh, senior ministers, including the three coalition leaders, meeting at government buildings still this evening, trying to figure out what solutions they can quickly put in place uh, to try and free up some properties for use uh, for the housing of Ukrainian refugees. And some of the options which are being put on the table include uh, some measures to use payments to try and uh, loosen up the supply of vacant properties in the country, uh, as well as increasing payments to families who host Ukrainian refugees, trying to move away from the whole hotel-based model, uh, about 25%, a quarter of the country's hotel rooms currently used for the housing of refugees. Uh, as well as that, Simon Coveney, the, the uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs, says that a number of uh, Defence Forces properties had been offered to be used for the housing of refugees but haven't been taken up yet, so there's a hope that those can come on stream as well. Uh, really, speaking earlier on to the Taoiseach as well as the uh, Public Expenditure Minister, the view from government is that more can be done and they aren't going to be turning anyone away. We have never witnessed since World War II such a humanitarian um, uh, crisis as we are now across Europe, um, with so many millions of people displaced. So yes, we, we, we can do things better in terms of, 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 of uh, some of our systems in respect of uh, you know, payments and so on like that, and all of that will come on the agenda, but also securing additional accommodation as well. There won't be any uh, declaration that Ireland is closed to Ukrainians. That's not going to happen. But we do also have to be honest with people who are considering coming to Ireland uh, that there is not a guarantee of immediate accommodation. And so we have to be forthright and honest uh, with um, the Ukrainian government, uh, with the ambassador, uh, with people who are considering coming here, that they are coming to Ireland at a time when there is strain. Well, on that point raised by the Public Expenditure Minister Michael McGrath, there is frustration expressed by the Ukrainian embassy uh, that there wasn't made clear enough that there was a shortage of accommodation in this country, that people would find themselves in a situation where they're sleeping on the floor in an airport or even on the streets. Now, one of the other solutions which has been floated for a long, long time is the issue of modular housing. Now, these were meant to be on stream and put in place by the end of this year. It doesn't appear that will be the case until into next year. So that's going to be another talking point at the meeting. Uh, but really, it is going to be stressed to ministers and then to the public as well uh, that the situation in Ukraine shows no sign of abating at this point. This is a medium to long term issue that is going to be need to be addressed over the next 18 months or beyond.